Hey guys, it's Lord Ryujin here, bringing you another YouTube video. Um, I want to take a real quick moment to talk about this stuff that apparently is news. I don't know. It's weird to me that people are talking about, oh, Nintendo is not going to show off Project NX at E3 this year. And I could have sworn I said that in a previous video. Of course not. It still has a project name. It, it doesn't have a name yet. They have they don't even have a prototype ready. There's no way they can show anything off, especially when they're still trying to support the Wii U and the 3DS. So good job Nintendo for focusing only on the Wii U and the 3DS this year because you know that that's going to completely take focus away. Um, I know for a fact because I knew that you were going to announce the Nintendo 3DS that I had one E3 where I didn't care about anything that you said. I wanted to see the 3DS, and that's sort of. Uh, the point of what I'm getting at with this video is if Nintendo case came out and they had like an hour and a half long presentation or whatever and let's just say that the last ha half hour was about Project NX do you think anybody would care about what they said during that last hour? More likely not. They'd just be waiting for them to get to Project NX. They want to see it. They want to touch it. They want to experience it. That's the reason why I'm glad that Nintendo is not showing up Project NX yet. It also gives the Wii U time to get those games out, like Star Fox, um, Xenoblade Chronicles X, no, Zelda's been pushed over to next year. But you get what I'm saying, there's still all kinds of stuff that has yet to come out that Nintendo can s still do. And this also is kind of going to go into, the, into the, the next thing that I wanted to talk about, which is Splatoon. I don't understand why it also is... Uh, newsworthy that Splatoon is only going to use the gamepad. Yeah. I mean, for crying out loud, the Pro Controller doesn't have gyroscope, so you can't aim. So therefore, the only other option is the gamepad. Wow. Why is this even news? You know, I mean, come on, people. It doesn't, I mean, yeah, sure, I get it. You could kind of make it to where the thumbstick, the right thumbstick, could have controlled the aiming. But if you played the demo like I did, the online stress test, uh, global whatever the heck it was, where they had people get online three times and try it out, um, you know that you have to aim using the gamepad, so therefore you cannot use the Pro Controller. Now, would it have made sense to, um, would it have made sense to use the Wii Remote? Probably, but that wasn't Nintendo's focus, and that wasn't also the developer's focus, because really the developer, I'm sure, they wanted to come out with a game that focused strictly on online multiplayer, so therefore only one controller is necessary. And when you have a company like Nintendo that is, again, trying to focus on the Wii U and its unique features, the gamepad is the only one that can give you the unique feature of the gyroscope built in. And considering the fact that you also need the, uh, the touch screen to do that squid jump to other teammates, you, you kind of see where I'm going. You need that. You need that functionality that is not built in to the Pro Controller or even into the Wii Remote. So, yeah, I kind of don't understand why all this stuff is suddenly newsworthy lately. Why people are losing their mind. Why are they showing off Project NX? Uh, probably because it's not ready. Probably because they don't even have a prototype for it yet. They don't even know what they're going to call it or what they're really going to do with it. They're focusing on getting all their ducks in a row to show it off better. And really, there is a system called the Wii U. don't know if you heard about it. It's still out. And they're still making games for it. And they kind of want to make their money off of that while they still can. And Splatoon only using the gamepad? Yeah. Why is this a surprise anymore, people? I don't know. I've said I think I've said that all I can about this uh, this particular topic. So I appreciate you guys watching as always. I'm gonna end this like I always do. Make sure that you join the conversation in the comments down below. Uh, and make sure we keep it civil, of course. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the support that I can get. And have yourself a good one, and I will see you next time.